Hello everyone and welcome to the Impact Play. I'm your show and team leader Mohammed otherwise known as It's Yagu, and we are your one-stop news shop for the latest and greatest across gaming, tech, entertainment, sports, music, and now also esports. Plus, we're also amplifying voices from those perspective fields. And having this result here on the Impact Play. Your support keeps the lives running and keeps the content coming. You can support us over at Anchor the Fifth Touch the Mac Play, where tier two supporters and above have access to exclusive content, including the post show, getting the show ad free, and so much more. Or you can even support us by using uh, uh, support us free by using our Epic Credit Card the Mac Play. We are Epic partners, so every purchase you make with an Apple Store will be right click for an iPhone guys and more. No matter what you play or how you play, even if it's a free to play title and you use our credit code, you will get a little bit of a commission that helps support us in a brand new way and no extra cost to you. So no matter how every consumer content to every consumer, we are there because we are co-sharing to both YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. So no matter which platform you prefer, we are now live on both of those of these platforms. But nonetheless, this episode of the Play is also sponsored by Audible. However, me and the team will tell you about that later. This is episode 270. And on the agenda, we have your CES 2023 wrap-up. Alice may have something something up its sleeves for 2023. Xbox's first showcase for the new year. A companion podcast for The Last of Us TV show. Samsung confirms the Galaxy S23. Apple could unveil its mixed reality headset this year. Avatar The Way of Water surpasses the 1 billion mark. A Stanley documentary is coming. Wednesday has been renewed for a second season. Damar Hamlin has, has improved his sudden collapse. Ken Block has suddenly passed away. Chelsea signs David Derato for final. IEM Brazil. Pokemon Scarlet and Violent Ranked kicks off. Sam Smith is going on tour. Coachella's headliners. New and up and coming music by Miley Cyrus. Kelly Uchis. Gracie Adams plus the top stories of the week. So welcome to my very first segment of the show where we discuss what I've been playing, what I'm enjoying essentially, what we have been up to. Alrighty, folks. So I haven't been playing much because it's been uh, it's literally the end of CES 2023. I've been busy uploading videos and following CES as well for the show. So watching wise, I did finish Batwoman. I unfortunately all these DC TV shows that I uh, began watching in the Arrowverse uh, shows that are suddenly either ended or they're ending soon so i am i am currently following up with the flash i'm all caught up on butter too as well though uh but flash is only my only show that, I, that i'm catching up on at the moment um i think that's about it if i'm not mistaken but yeah but i guess we'll get into the news folks and i'm gonna start with your housekeeping You could sign up for your free 30 day trial and immediately get access to one credit. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get access to two credits. And it's good for any premium title. Simply go to audibletrial.com slash play. Once again, the URL is audibletrial.com slash play. You can go to Audible for sponsoring this episode of the Mac Play. Alrighty, folks, before we get into the housekeeping, I want to wish you all a happy new year, a happy 2023. And. Of course, we didn't we didn't leave you hanging. We've been uploading a ton of review cast for your leisure, and we're going to once I find it. Uh, oh, found it. So we uh, so we've been pretty busy lately. Uh, even though CES twenty twenty three uh, barely just finished, we have review casts. Let me see. Um, for Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, uh, starting the Hedgehog uh, films one and two, uh, Sonic Prime, the anime on not the animated TV show on Netflix. We have Dana Night, which uh, is up there as well. We have The Witch of Blood, Blood Origin, the little miniseries 
over on Netflix. That's up. They're a review cast as well. We have uh, Neymar and the Perfect Chaos. That is on Netflix as well. It's a little uh, four-series documentary about Neymar Jr. Uh, Black Adam. And that's about all of the recent review cast that we've been uploading as well. In light of the new year. And on top of that, like I said, it is here, uh, we're on the, I guess, the edge of CS 2023, barely just finishing. Uh, we have all those, uh, all of the main uh, keynote presentations, press conferences, and what have you around you on our YouTube channel as well. We have BMW, HTC Vive, uh, the announcement of the HTC uh, Vive uh, Mixed Reality headset. We have Asus, AMD, Samsung, and what have you is there as well. And not only that, we are in a new year and we've, of course, been uploading trailers, exclusive clips, and what have you on our YouTube channel as well. And not only that, of course, we, we are in our third year supporting Extra Life. Uh... We've been partnering up with them because they are a program of the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, uh, which is uh, we are in, uh, rallying funds and doing a fundraiser for and support of our local Children's Hospital, Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Uh, so we've, of course, uh, we ha because we're in light of a new year, we also have a new Extra Life uh, channel as well. And we'll be integrating that as well into our uh, Twitch and YouTube feeds as well. But if you guys are watching us on Twitch, uh, actually, no, you can't put I donate just yet. Uh, I'll have to update those accordingly. And but you could, I guess, once you do get to it, you can still follow suit as well, or you can just look for us on Extra Life as well, the Impact Play. We are there for you as well. And of course, uh, we have to mention this before we get into the regular news. Uh, Bobo Walters has said uh, has passed away. The pioneering TV news broadcaster was the first female anchor in evening news, and she was a longtime ABC news anchor and correspondent who shattered the glass ceiling and became a dominant force in the industry. She passed away at the age of 93. So hopefully, I or we all can follow in her footsteps. All right, folks. So we're going to uh, hop into the news. And we're going to start with your gaming play. All righty. So we have... Uh, well, this is uh, one of the many announcements of CES 2023, but uh, this is gaming related, so that's why we put it here. Uh, so this is pretty much PlayStation's uh, presence at uh, CES. They announced Project Leonardo, which is their f uh, uh, their first accessibility controller for the PlayStation 5. Finally, you're following in Xbox's footsteps, and they announced a highly... Uh, customizable accessibility controller kit that uh, apparently should work out of the box. We'll just have to wait and see. And we have the trailer for you on our YouTube channel as well. And it's currently in development, and apparently uh, they are, quote unquote, continuing to gather valuable feedback from the community. But it looks like they don't have a release date or anything else. But once we do get something official, we'll release that to you accordingly. And uh, the PlayStation 5 is apparently that the shortest uh, is essentially over, coming over from IGN. Sony has announced that its PlayStation 5 consoles do not surpass more than 30 million units sold, and that the console shortage is now essentially over. 
Sony Interactive Entertainment President Jim Ryan revealed that the new figure at Sony CES 2023 uh, tech conference, a number which is up 5 million from the 25 million figure revealed two months previously. Okay, and we also have uh, Gran Turismo is coming to PSVR 2 at launch, coming over from Road to VR. Uh, at launch, uh, da -da -da, it's essentially uh, Gran Turismo 7 will support PSVR 2 at the headset's launch via free upgrade for existing owners. And that's all we have for you. We have an update for you on the Microsoft Activision uh, Blizzard merger. Uh, the Chile has approved the uh, acquisition. Uh, they believe that there will be plenty of competition in this video game space. Of course, it's inevitable. Okay, that's about it on that front. And the EU is currently surveying games companies about concerns over their proposed acquisition. And that's about it. So once we have any updates on that front as well, we'll uh, update all you folks over here on the show. And apparently... Uh, we have an exclusive for you on Windows Central. That a new Xbox showcase has been rumored for some time and they, we believe we have some concrete information on it finally. That our sources suggest that the showcase is called Xbox Developer Direct and will feature content from Bethesda, I mean, uh, across Xbox and Bethesda. When they're expecting the, the show to go live January 25th at 12 p.m. Pacific, for those of you on the Eastern Front, it's going to be 3 p.m. Although that may be subject to change, games expected to appear include Redfall, Forza, Motorsports, and even Minecraft Legends. And then it'll also give a, uh, apparently it'll give us a more of a deep dive on major games for 2023. So that's about it on that front. And now we also have a little good news for you from Microsoft's uh, game development blog. Uh, introducing the Imagine Cup 2023. Imagine Cup is Microsoft's premier technology and innovation competition for students. Each year, students show us what's possible as they transform their ideas into action with Microsoft's Azure technologies. Competitors join a global community built together with students from around the world to create world-changing projects is one of four competition categories, Earth, Education, Health, and Lifestyle. This year, students will be challenged to step further into their uh, entrepreneurial side and focus on innovative uses of Azure technology, accessibility and inclusion, and marketability as a business idea. And uh, you, you still have until January 27th to submit your idea. And I'm going to show you the link for you folks and live. Chat for you now. Hold on, let me see. Let me copy link address. Let me edit that. How do I delete this one? Oh, it gave me a huge link. And I copied that. 
Oh, well, but this is the current link now. <laughs> Much shorter. All right. So good luck if you guys are planning to participate. And we have a little bit of EU Xbox news. Apparently, it won't be coming to the US or North America. But nonetheless, that Oreo is warming up with Xbox for some exclusive Oreos. Which I'm going to share with you in chat momentarily. From the Xbox Wire. Uh, let's see. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I found it. Okay, I believe that's it. Found it. All right, there you are. Unlock playfulness with Oreo. Apparently, you could unlock prizes as well. For those of you listening on uh, in, in the European Union, this applies to you. And now let's get into the news story. Okay. So, when it comes to making the most out of playtime, Xbox knows more to uh, the gaming experience than just what's on screen. That's why we've teamed up with Oreo, the world's number one cookie, to bring a new level of playfulness to Xbox. Featuring six embossed custom cookie designs to both exclusive in-game and real-world prizes. This partnership will let gamers save victory in the form of Oreo Beloved Cookie and Cream Combo for the first time ever in 22 countries, Europe only. Your Oreo will... Be releasing special edition packs with multiple new cookie designs, bringing together the iconic graphery of Xbox with the deliciousness, this deliciousness of Oreo. Uh, the limited edition cookies will bear the Xbox logo, iconic ABXY controller buttons alongside a directional arrow. By scanning the Oreo Xbox special edition cookies and by cracking exclusive cookie combinations inspired by cheat codes hidden in games throughout history, fans can unlock a range of prizes. Across uh, Forza Horizon 5, Sea of Thieves, and even Halo Infinite. And additionally, participants will be entered into the draw to win prizes ranging from custom Oreo hardware, Xbox consoles, even Xbox Game Pass Ultimate memberships. So visit uh, Oreo.eu to learn more. Uh, and nextly, uh, Alice hitting a uh, Unannounced new prizes for 2023 coming over on GameSpot. In a message published by Famitsu, Alice was quoted as saying, Thank you very much for your support and patronage for the remastered versions of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax of 2022. The Nintendo Switch versions of 13 Sentinels, uh, Aegis Rim, Soul Hackers 2, and the remastered versions of Persona 5 Royal. Thank you for your support. The remastered edition of Pia, uh, P. F. Uh, Persona 5 Royal achieved 1 million sales with one month after the release, and as a whole, has surpassed 3.3 million units worldwide. Alice has several unannounced games that, have, that haven't seen any substantial updates in the past years. It is for the dungeon crawler RPG, Atrian uh, Odyssey has revealed back in 2018 and 2019, Dirty Set developer VanillaWare showed a teaser picture of a medieval like setting for one of its next games. Project Refantasy has gotten the most updates since, uh, but that's about it. Hey, we don't have nothing else. Uh, that's about it on that front. So essentially, it's a speculation that they may release some things. And apparently, we have a lawsuit up to for you regarding uh, CD Project Red Cyberpunk 2077. It settles for 1.85 million. Can we go over games to read that? Biz. Uh, the suit alleged that CD Projekt Red misled investors about the state of uh, the RPG and Xbox One and PlayStation 4 consoles. Uh, in January 2021, Maker received a similar lawsuit from the Rawson Law Firm. Da -da 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 -da. That's about it. Literally. Uh, it's just from the investor side. Uh, nextly, uh, or should I say lastly, HBO has announced a companion podcast for its up-and-coming Last of Us TV series. The podcast is called The Last of Us Podcast, and it premieres on Sunday, January 15th, alongside the show's debut. Oh, wow, in five days. Uh, new episodes of the podcast will be released each Sunday with each new chapter of the show for a total of nine installments. 
uh, uh, the the Last of Us podcast is hosted by Troy Baker, who played Joel and Naughty Dog's The Last of Us game series. He sat down with game uh, series creators uh, Craig Mason and Neil Druckmann, and will do a scene by scene deep dive into each episode. Oh, I'm curious now. Uh, and premieres on HBO. Okay. All right. So I'm curious if you're checking that out. That's for sure. All right. It looks like that's it for gaming. I guess if we're, we have a lot of news for tech after this. And ready, folks, it's time for your uh, CES 2023 roundup coming over from Packet Lint. All right, ba da ba. So we have the biggest announcements. Uh, we have a Sierra updated the Aspire line. The Swift line had made some Predator and Nature announcements while it's launching the Halo Swing, which is a smart speaker designed for the outdoors. Uh, I believe they also... No, that was a Sierra, that was AMD. AMD's president and CEO, Lisa Su, delivered a keynote presentation at CES to outline the brand's next-generation 7000 series mobile CPUs, uh, as well as three new desktop chips that support AMD's 3D vCache technology with 16 cores on the flagship processor. AMD also launched its RX 7000 mobile GPUs, ideal for 1080p gaming and ultra setting settings or for content creation used on top-end gaming laptops. Asus uh, launched its new ZenBook models, all featuring OLED displays and the latest Intel and NVIDIA chipsets. It also showed off a Chromebook design specifically for cloud gaming with a 144Hz display and even an RGB keyboard. One of the biggest surprises, though, was its Spadio Vision glasses-free 3D OLED displays. And even their... Uh, their event also revealed some serious high-spec laptops, a 540 gigahertz gaming monitor, special edition AIM Lab mouse, and even an impressive 75% keyboard with an OLED display. Uh, BMW uh, announced, or should I say, uh, showed off its color-changing cast-up car, dubbed the BMW iVision D and plans to introduce its full windscreen uh, heads-up displays in its cars from 2025. Oh, and there's also an insight into the next version of BMW's Infomate system, which will run on Android, and also the car uh, is able to pretty much change into any color. Fossil was there. They announced their Generation 6 Hybrid Wellness Edition watch, which combines traditional hands with an e ink display to deliver smart functions, making a nice function of a classic and text heavy design. Uh, Garmin announced the Dash Cam Live, uh, sports LT connectivity for always connected uh, recording. HTC announced, uh, or should I say, unveiled their Vive uh, Mixed Reality Elite. Which is a new standalone headset that evolves the HTC Vive Flow's design into something more substantial. Over a uh, range of uh, uh, VR and even mixed reality functions, and, and is also light. Intel kicked off the show with one of the earliest keynotes. Uh, the brand showed off its 13th generation Intel mobile hardware, including the first ever 24 core laptop CPU. Also revealed the new. Uh, and series uh, processors for Chromebooks and expanded its range of desktop chips. Lenovo announced Ideal Pad Pro, the Ideal uh, ID Pad Slim, and even the ID Pad Flex 3i Chromebook. Uh, but what was innovative is the uh, Lenovo Yog. Uh, what do you call it? Yog. 
uh, Yoga Book 9i, which ha uh, essentially has a folding display. Uh, and, and even the Lenovo Tab Extreme packed with Lenovo Smart Paper, you know, the ink writing device, to rival uh, Amazon's Scribe. And we have LG showed off its wire free OLED TV. The streams content from the Zero Connect media box, it only needs a power cable for the TV itself. LG display re uh, revealed its third generation OLED panel tech, which can expect to see in future TVs with an astonishing 2100 nit peak uh, brightness. Uh, we also saw the instant view fridge, and along with the LG Art Cool Gallery, an air con unit, the 27 inch display for our work, our photos. LG announced new uh, sound bars at the show, and we've seen an interesting new camera module from LG Inatech. And they also announced new laptop from its popular Gram series, including two all new models, uh, the LG Gram Ultra Slim and the LG Gram Style. L Oriel. L Oriel? I think I said it right. Uh, showed off the Bro Magic, which will print your perfect eyebrows onto your face, as well as the Hapta clever device to make lipstick application easier for those who have limited mobility. Uh, Motorola was there uh, under the brand of Lenovo. They announced a think phone by Motorola, and it, it's essentially an extension of uh, of the Lenovo. Give me a second. Let me get into this. To the ThinkPad. That's essentially just a companion phone. Who would, I would the only thing, uh, the only customer customer of this would be like businesses if they actually use existing products. That's it. But I guess let's keep moving on. And also confirm that the next uh, Motorola Defy will offer satellite communication, and is built by UK brand Bullent, uh, and is. Then we have the Nano Leaf. Uh, they showed off a range of devices uh, to react to your TV. Bada ba 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 ba. And then we also have Nvidia announced their 40 series laptop GPUs along with Nvidia GeForce Now Ultimate, which now includes uh, cloud gaming with an RTX 4080. And they even announced the uh, GeForce RTX 4790 desktop GPU. And we have Pan Panasonic uh, announced uh, its latest flat, uh, television, the MZ2000. It'll come in 55 inch, 65 inch, and 77 inch display sizes and will bring with a number of improvements over its predecessor, including a 150% increase in peak brightness. And also, the, as well as the Lumix S5 II, the first Panasonic camera to benefit from face detect autofocus and Razer was there and he announced a gaming chair with built-in surround sound a beam forming soundbar for gamers new webcam updates to the Razer Blade line as well as uh, an accessory for the MetaQuest uh, where are you MetaQuest 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 where are you oh here it is uh, two VR accessories for the MetaQuest 2, the Razer adjustable head strap system, and the Razer facial interface meant to extend the VR gameplay and increase comfort. Uh, it's built in collaboration with ResMed, a leading expert on human factors. Designs for long-lasting comfort. Uh, and it's apparently will be available in Q1 of this year. And apparently, Nvidia's 480 Ti will be seven ninety nine ninety nine, 
and Ring was there, they announced uh, or revealed the Ring car cam, which puts a camera in your car so you can keep an eye on it. And I'm actually interested in that as well. All right, let's see what else we got. Samsung. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, 2023 TV selection, OLED micro, OLED, Neo QLED varieties, uh, integration with the Philips Hue, uh, a smart oven that features AI and cameras to aid in cooking and prevent burning grub, uh, Galaxy Book 2 Go was unveiled, supports a Snapdragon S7C uh, Plus Generation 3 chipset, uh, and even revealed or announced the RDC Neo G9, which is a 57-inch monitor. Uh, it's said to be the world's first single monitor with dual ultra-high definition resolution. Uh, it's, apparently, it's apparently a 7680 by 2160 resolution, 32 to 9 aspect ratio, and even 20, 240 refresh rate. Alrighty, and let's see what else we got. Uh, Sony was there. They revealed the Affilo concept car has been created in partnership with Honda. Uh, apparently, it'll be on the road by 2026. And they also ran demos of the PSVR 2. Volkswagen showed off the ID.7, the first reveal of Volkswagen's next generation car. It promised 40, 434 miles uh, uh, miles uh, range. And apparently they're keeping it under a special color change in camo. It also has a color change in camouflage as well. Also, we have uh, something else from Sony as well that they partnered up with Manchester City uh, to quote unquote building the metaverse coming over from The Verge. It's called a proof of concept, which lets fans uh, uh, participate in activities at a virtual version of the team's Ithiat Stadium with their own custom avatars. And we have Disney was there as well. Uh, they... What are you? Did it there? Mm. It's apparently a voice assistant. Uh, called or dubbed a disease magical companion. So essentially, essentially, it's an extension of an uh, an Alexa. So it was used uh, creating the custom assistant voice AI foundation, which allows third parties to create custom voice assistants that can coexist with Amazon's Alexa assistant and Echo speakers, uh, similar to uh, celebrity voices that you can download from the likes of Samuel Jackson. So apparently you don't need to buy it to download it, but it's coming in 2023. And apparently we have an update for you on Apple's uh, mixed reality headset. The first one's coming over from MacRumors.com. That it'll feature physical dial for switching to a view of the real world, a waste mounted battery pack, a small motors for automatically adjusting its lenses, and much more. 
is it the, the, apparently the design will use aluminum glass or carbon fiber to reduce its size and weight cameras are largely concealed for uh aesthetic reasons and apparently custom prescription lenses for glass or wearers 120 uh degree field of view h2 chip for ultra look and uh latency connection with the secondary uh, generation AirPods Pro and future AirPods models, two chips include the main uh, SOC, and including a, GP, a CPU, GPU, and memory, and then dedicated image signal processor. And apparently, Apple, Apple is reportedly working on an AirPods Lite to compete with cheaper wireless earbuds, coming over from nine to five Mac. We just have to wait and see on that. Now it's, just, it's all just speculation. And apparently their mixed reality headset will be unveiled this year according to game industry that biz. And apparently the headset was has been in development for seven years and Apple is uh, hoping to announce it in the spring with a launch date in the fall. And it's likely will be called the Reality Pro which will ensue uh, the iOS and the macOS in favor of its own mixed reality OS operation. So we have to wait and see on that. And apparently, there are Apple's uh, are also reportedly making an all-in-one cellular Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip that apparently will include cellular functionality, according to a report. And apparently, uh, the Samsung uh, has seemingly confirmed the S23 series launch site ahead of an, an announcement uh, coming over from 9 to 5 Google. So the S23 was originally rumored to launch in late February, but according to Samsung's official Columbia website, the event is on February 1st. The teaser doesn't show much, but it does have the new camera design with pictures of leaves and lilacs in the corner, hinting at the name of the rumored colors that recently leaked. But that's about it. On that front, we have a Meta that acquired 3D lens uh, printing firm Luxexo to bolster the f uh, future AR glasses. Uh, we talked about that. Uh, we have a Wave, the virtual entertainment uh, company known for putting a ton of VR concert. I uh, has well apparently a new experience dubbed the Calvin uh, Harris experience taking place on January thirteenth. Experience is set to last approximately one hour, which includes a five minute pre show and twenty five minute ex exclusive extended fans. Uh, and apparently only fans in Europe and Asia will have access. Where only the Peacock's consumer headsets are currently available. Alright, and apparently YouTube will begin sharing ad revenue with shorts creators on f starting February 1st. Coming over from Engadget. Uh, Gadget. Alright, that's good. And TikTok, uh, uh, users you cannot tag movies and TV shows. Uh, in partnership with IMDb. Alright, and we also have Qualcomm's Snapdragon satellite will now let Android phones text off the grid. Coming up from Engadget. To compete with the uh, iPhone 14's capabilities as well. Uh, it's called the Snapdragon satellite, which will allow devices equipped with the company's X70 modems to connect to satellites in order to send messages when no cellular signal is available. Visual expected, is expected to be available on phones beginning the second half of 2023. And as a result of a, law, of a partnership with a long-time satellite phone maker, Iridium. Uh, 
All right, and we have uh, Mercedes and Charge Point team up to build 400 North American Charging Cubs. They plan to establish 400 new charging hubs throughout the U.S. and Canada. Uh, that's about it. Thank you, got you for that. And apparently, uh, we have DoorDash will apparently drop off your packages for you at your local uh, FedEx, UPS, or even your uh, post office. And it's available for up to five items at a time and cost a flat five, three, or if you're a Dash Pass subscriber, the Little Dash hopes to entice early adopters by offering the first pickup for free in January. And we have Roku is apparently building its own TVs. And then it will range from one nineteen to nine ninety nine, and some may even uh, scroll past the two thousand dollar Mac uh, point. Uh, Microsoft is apparently integrating Chat GPT tech into Bing. We have we have that already. And apparently BMW is recalling 14,000 iX, i4, and i7 electrical vehicles for faulty battery software uh, coming over from the fridge. Apparently they're saying a software update should fix the problem. Uh, and Raspberry Pi did launch a higher resolution camera module now with autofocus alongside the company's camera module 3. It is also releasing a new module for use with M12 mount lenses. Thank you Diverge for that. And Google is apparently making uh, apparently music easier for you. Allow, uh, allows users to switch between differential audio devices based on their proximity, similar to how Apple has their similar to Apple's uh, feature set. And we got that. And apparently Instagram is kicking off, kicking out the shopping top out of the home feed, and in favor of uh, the Reels tab, something that they've been focusing on a lot lately. Thank you, Dervish, for that one. And also, Meta is apparently done making new features for the Quest One, and all the updates will end next year. Not surprising. Thank you to the Verge for that one as well. So it looks like we are done for tech. And now we're going to move on to entertainment, folks. Alrighty, folks. So the first one's going over from iHeartRadio. Uh, Jeremy Renner is continuing to recover from this scary snowplow accident over the New Year's that left him in critical condition in the ICU. Uh, and apparently, he took to his Instagram story on January 5th to show an update on the hospital bed. Uh, apparently, he's recovering well. And we also have a. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Nirvana is set to receive a special award out of the 2023 Grammys. And the Golden Globes is actually going on now as well as we speak. So I'll have an update for you on that on next week's show. All right, we have the SAG Awards. Coming over from the Hollywood Reporter. Uh, the nominations will be revealed in a live announcement, which will take place on Instagram uh, via the SAG Awards on Wednesday morning, probably tomorrow. And the ceremony will take place on February 26th at the Fairmont 
Century Plaza in LA. Winners are chosen by performance peers uh, with a total of 122,600 eligible voters. And hopefully we'll have uh, some of those uh, nominees on the show. And we have Delta has inked a deal to offer Paramount Plus at the beginning of this year. As as well as uh, free in-flight Wi-Fi for every traveler that uses the Delta. Uh, and that will begin rolling out in February. Uh, but yeah. So Sky Mile, yeah, of course you have to be a Sky Mile member, which is free. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, we have Marvel Comics celebrates 100 years of Disney with variant covers starring Mickey Mouse, Minnie, and more. And of course, we're going to share that with you folks. So for all of your audio-only listeners, you are definitely missing out if you are coming back to check out the VOD later on Spotify or even on YouTube. All right, it's coming directly from Marvel as well. P as uh, Thanos. The Avengers. Mickey Mouse characters, Iron Man, Mickey, and that's about it. But yeah, kudos to Disney uh, for celebrating 100 years. We have 50 Cent is working with Eminem on an 8 mile TV show. Coming over from the Hollywood Reporter. And we have an exclusive come from the Hollywood Reporter as well. That the international superstar Daniana has signed with the APA. And uh, we have Louis Guzman forms a mascot uh Mascot Cam Productions and an exclusive coming over from Variety. Uh, they have uh, Mascot Camp has already formed a partnership with Rescue Dog Productions. Matthew Dwyer, uh, Dwyer and Michael Hollingsworth will finance the first two years of productions consisting of plans to make six feature films and for even four television series. Yeah, another exclusive coming over from Riley, that's the Bali star. Uh, Kartik Ariane will debut as a producer with his upcoming film, Shehzada. Her, her uh, Arizan joins producers Boshan Kuma and Alu Arvind, and even Aman Gil. The production company's RT series films, part of their 100 film Slate, Alu Entertainment, and Harika and Hassan Creations. All right, uh, we have another exclusive coming from Variety that Netflix has partnered with TV2 Norway on a crime show, Gangs of Oslo. Uh, that it, it'll be a six part series created and directed by Owell Anderson. Uh, outside of Norway. So it'll be hitting every region, apparently. And we and Variety reports that Netflix has uh, swung an axe on Inside Job, the adult animation conspiracy comedy, after just one season, according to the creator and showrunner Hashian Takoshi. All right, and we have. Uh, Top Gun Maverick, Empire of Light, and Elvis are among the films nominated by the American Society of Cinema Matographers. <laughs> Sorry if I watched that. And the feature film category. And Batman also uh, landed a nomination as well. 
and Gashua reports that Apple TV Plus has offered a sneak peek at the second season of Foundation and revealed when the sci-fi series will return. Uh, Doesn't say when. Uh, the summer of 2023. Uh, we Collider reports that community, uh, uh, the long remaining movie is finally in the works. All right, we have an exclusive coming from the Hollywood Reporter uh, that Tim Blake Nelson has joined the high flying cast of Dune Part 2. Avatar The Way of Water has reached the $1 billion mark globally after just two weeks. Thank you, Variety, for that. And. Another one from Variety that Megan is apparently short for Model 3 generative Android, made a killing in its opening weekend, collecting a better than expected 30.2 million uh, domestically and internationally has uh, has even surpassed the 45 million uh, global mark. Uh, we have James Cameron's Avatar 3 will apparently feature a fire navi coming over from IGN. We have Marvel Studios Black Panther Wakanda Forever uh, will be coming February 1st to Disney Plus. Thank you, GameSpot, for that. And Stephen Amell will be his, reprising his role as Arrow during the finals, uh, the Flash's final season. There will be thrills, chills, and tears coming from TV Line. No spoilers, of course, because I'm still watching The Flash, but yeah. We have... Uh, Paul Marcel is set to star in Ridley Scott's Gladiator sequel for Paramount, coming an exclusive from Deadline. He's probably in, neg in negotiations to lead the role. Wednesday has apparently been renewed for season two. Thank you, Netflix, for that. Uh... Deadline reports that 1899 has been canceled. Did we, did we report on that? I think so. But yeah, actually, no, we did it. Uh, we have. We have a Stanley documentary coming to Disney Plus in 2023. Marvel has announced on its 100th birthday. And of course, if you're interested in checking out our trailer, it's live on our YouTube channel. We got that. Alrighty. So it looks like that's it for entertainment, folks. I guess we're going to move on to sports after this. Alrighty, folks, so Pele, Brazil's mighty king of the beautiful game, has died. Coming over from AP News. Yeah, he did pass away on... I believe it's last... Two days ago, on December 29th. That's when it was reported. Yep. Over two weeks ago. He transformed the sport itself. Into what it is now. May he rest in peace. And we also have another. Uh, uh, another little bit of sad news. Uh, rally car driver and DC Shoes co-founder Ken Black has passed away in a snowmobile accident. Coming from NPR. He was riding a snowmobile near his home in Utah around 2 p.m. when he tried to navigate a steep slope, causing the craft to fall back on top of him. 
and he was apparently uh, pronounced dead on the scene. May he rest in peace as well. So if you got, I am sure you guys have heard, uh, we posted about uh, Bell's Damar Hamlin. He suffered a cardiac arrest uh, on the field. And of course, uh, the NFL, they have canceled and postponed the game. So we have an update for you following that, coming from uh, CBS Sports. That he is back in Buffalo after a week of being admitted. He has been discharged from the University of Cincinnati Medical Center and has transferred into a Buffalo area hospital. His doctors announced Monday, uh, and great that he's doing well. Uh, so the Seattle Kraken and the Vegas Golden Knights, the NHL's two newest franchises, will play in the 2024 Winter Classic at T-Mobile Park. The league has announced. Coming over f uh, from ESPN. Uh, the first tournament of the year on the PGA Tour will begin at 2.30 p.m. on Thursday with 2023, the Century Tournament of Champions tees it up on the plantation course at, uh, I don't want to botch this, but Kapalo and and my Hawaii with last year's winners and top 30 from the FedEx Cup standings earnings uh, entry. The Century Tournament of Champions 2023 field was already uh, guaranteed to be a strong one. And we have uh, the full college football uh, game schedule for 2022 season features 43 contests spanning three weeks. December and January. Uh, the Hama Bowl will run through January 9th. So apparently it did run already. So let me take a look at it. Search. Bahamas Bowl. Oh, so it's... Let's see what we got. So Miami, uh, it looks like Ohio, let me see, from the Gazette Times, let's read this, uh, an article. Okay, let's see. Uh, so apparently UAB won with the twenty four twenty victory. Okay, so they defeated the Red Hawks. I don't know how how that was so hard. All right, we have uh, Paris Saint Germain. Uh, apparently, Messi has returned. Uh, let me look into this. I don't see nothing about Messi. That's weird. All right. Uh, so I'll skip that. We have uh, Cristiano Ronaldo uh, has finally broken silence that he has joined uh, Saudi Arabia's and Nasser after leaving Manchester United. And apparently the the NFL has tweeted that uh, the Bills game that was postponed has been canceled. And Chelsea has also completed the signing of Modal striker David Drato for final and a six-year deal. The club the club has announced from Mo uh, oh yeah from Mold. 
All right, we have, what else we got? The 2023 College Football Hall of Fame class was announced on Monday and includes 18 former first-team All-American players and four legacy coaches. The names are as follows. Eric Berry, Michael Bishop, uh, Reggie Bosch, Monte Carter. Carter? Yeah, Carter. Uh, Dwight. Freeney, Robert Gallery, Le Michael James, Derek Johnson, Paul Johnson, Bill Collar, uh, Roy Kramer, Roy Kramer, uh, Luke Coetchley, Jeremy Macklin, Terrence Mathis, Bryant McKinney, Corey Moore, Moore Mark Rich, uh, Michael Stonebreaker, Tim Tabau, Troy. Vincent, uh, Brian Westbrook, and even DeAngelo Williams. It'll be uh, inducted. At, oh, they're, they're already inducted. So, yeah. I don't get it. Whatever. It is what it is. All right. It looks like that's it for sports for Then we're on to esports. All righty. So, the first one. Coming from AFK Gaming, we have the M4 Championship Group Stage that's apparently taking place. Uh, it apparently features 16 teams from 12 different regions competing for the World Championship title. The CIS region will not be present in the tournament, whereas McConk and Mayonner will return after being absent from the previous World Series event. Let's take a look. Okay, it looks like the group stage is complete, and the knockout stage will take place January 7th through the 15th, which is a double elimination. 16 teams play will play in a double elimination bracket. Eight teams uh, begin in the upper group bracket and eight in the lower bracket. Okay. All right, uh, we have the M4 Championship uh Playoff has has already be has already done and over with, and the winner. Uh, let's see, is M four. Wait, hold on, I messed up. Uh, let me look into this. This is confusing. Oh, so no, not yet. Uh, we have apparently the grand finals is January 15th, second place. Uh, we have the Pokemon Unite ACL, the India League. Uh, let me look into this. The winner is of the Pokemon Unite WCS 2022 India Championship are Revenate. Revenant Esports, to, uh, first place went to God's Reign, and third place, oh, I don't get it, if Revenant Esports won, wouldn't they be first and God's Reign would be second, That's so weird, but yeah, it is what it is, apparently that was the first stage, second stage will take place February 12th and the 19th, uh, let's see. Uh, a, a 2023 uh, uh, Brohalla Community Tournament is the, will 
take place January 14th this weekend. It'll feature Moose Wars, a stock go and the Brawl League hosting 1v1 and 2v2 events for North America. Uh, South America and Europe, respectively, each region will have a 4,000 total prize pool split between both events. Uh, we have Pokemon Scarlet and Valorant ranked is kicking off. Let's get into this. Uh, Battle Series 1 Season 2. Is officially going on. All right, we let's go into some uh, uh we have I am a real major. Uh this uh was last uh was Brazil's last event in November. The whole ESL is hosting another CS Go event in the country in twenty twenty three, double the I E M Brazil. It'll run uh, April 17th to the 23rd and will feature a $250,000 price pool. All right. We have some roster changes for you folks. That's the word that I was looking for. Uh, we have 00 Nation and 9Z have are allegedly about to swap their AW perds. According to a report by the Dust 2 Brazil, coming from the DO2 Esports. We have Curl Boom L14 or Boom 14. Uh, Mark Mikai Love has parted ways with Natias Ventier. Uh, uh, his contract has come to an end. All right, we have, let's see. Uh, Dallas Fuel officially introduced its 2023 roster over a series of posts on social media. Three players and an award-winning coach will be leading the charge alongside a few new talents. Uh, so we have damage dealer Kim SP9 Arco with the one as an L. Yan Hang and Kim Anderson, Tai Hoon will be returning to Dallas next year, hoping for a repeat of their stellar performances across the season and postseason. And we have Tang Choi Ham, uh, Hanbin will be heading back to Dallas in 2023. All right, we also have what else we got? Cloud 9 former head coach Max Waldo has officially departed from the organization after breaking into the North American League of Legends scenes with the team over the last two years. He'll be pursuing, uh, he'll be pursuing content creation with his career next month. Uh, thank you, DL2 Esports, for that. Uh, Edward Gaming, one of the League of Legends' most talented players, has begun a new chapter of his competitive adventure. Uh, Lee Scout Yi Chan has officially joined LNG Esports, marking the end of his extensive tenure with EDG since uh, 2016. Thank you, DOT, for that as well. Uh, uh, we have KOI, uh, a Spanish organization founded by streaming superstar. Uh, by Lanos has uh, and famous retired footballer Gra Gerard Pique has officially uh, completed the roster, uh, completing signing former a player in 2021 world champion Parchrik Stark XO Kopizinski. I don't want to botch that, but yeah. Uh, Team Insane has announced its new state mobile roster. Uh, it has acquired the former New State Mobile roster of Chimin Esports. The roster includes the following players. Um, Mul Ya Roach. Uh, Sach Deva. Uh, Rhyme Min Sonic. And Arnav Ferocity. The roster is currently uh, competing in the tournament Dragon Pro Series. Uh, the New State Mobile Open in India. 
Thank you to AFK Gaming for that one. And lastly, we have Royal Games is apparently uh, running with the Champion Reworks for League of Legends 2023 with the rank season launches January 10th. A day ago, as of this recording, uh, it'll give Jax a series of updates in the majority of his kit. It'll range three of his abilities. The main focus is on his ultimate, the Grandmaster Knight. Ability will now re reward Jax with bonus armor and magic resist whenever he strikes an enemy. Champion with auto uh, attack during the duration of his ult, making him more of a tank threat. Whenever he deals damage, additionally, the ability will cause every other attack to deal, deal bonus damage instead of every third attack, which is how the ability currently operates on live. His mid scope update aim, uh, aims to turn him into more of a well rounded team fighter who can double as a strong frontline champion. The rear will likely take away some of his power and 1v1 duels while making him a formidable foe and mid to lane uh, game five, uh, fives. Thank you, the OT, for that as well. So I guess we're done with the esports folks, and we'll move on to the last and final segment, music. Alrighty, folks. So the first one that we have a report from TMZ that Three Six Mafia's uh, Gangsta Boo has, a uh, former member of Three Six Mafia, has passed away at 43. And possibly by an overdose. Coming via an exclusive. As she was apparently, uh, in, uh, while she was alive with her uh, brother the night before at a local concert in Memphis. The may she rest in peace as well. So we have Sam Smith has announced a 27-day summer tour of North America coming from iHeartRadio. And you can buy tickets now if you're interested. Uh, he'll be going on tour July 25th, starting in Miami and ending in Mexico uh, September 14th. So I'll dub the glory of the tour. Frank Ocean, Bad Bunny, Blackpink are rumored to be uh, the headliners for Coachella, coming from iHeart. Uh, we have the Houston Rodeo concert lineup from iHeart, uh, starting February 28th and ending March 19th. It'll star uh, Michael McCollum, John Party, the Chainsmokers, uh, Machine Gun Kelly and what have you. Uh, we have Lil Baby and Sam Smith will be Sunday Night Live's first musical guest of the year. We have the iHeartRadio's Alter Ego will be taking place January 14th on Los Angeles this Saturday. You'll see performances by the Red Hot Chili Peppers, uh, Fall Out Boy, and more. Uh, we have looks like Lincoln Park will be going back on tour after Gray Days has hold on no uh, Gray Day Days has announced after C uh, C Chester Bennington has left the band alright let's make sure I was reading that right We have Tory Lanez was found guilty of shooting Megan the, uh, the Stallion, coming from iHeart. Uh, he was found guilty last month on the 23rd of three felony charges. We have Beyonce did send out some winter uh, renaissance holiday cards to some fans. Thank you, iHeart, for that as well. Bad Bunny... Uh, 
was seen throwing a fan's phone. Apparently, it's dubbed as a disrespect coming from iHeart. I'm going to read that for you. In an emergency video that began circulating the internet, the superstar uh, was seen walking with a group of friends and a team with an exciting fan approached him with a phone and began recording in selfie mode with even out his consent. So someone apparently violated his personal space and then he's in the wrong for the microphone away. Like regardless if he's a superstar or not, he's still a human being. And I agree with him. He threw her phone away. Like, come on. That's disrespectful. Imagine if he had a bodyguard and, and, and they tackled that fan. It still would be the same scenario. Oh, he's the bad person. No, that's not how that works, buddy. Literally. Being respectful of a person. He's a human being, after all. And he, and this comes, this incident comes days after he was handing out toys to children in Puerto Rico. So after he's doing a good deed, people look at the back. I, I just won an altercation that, that sums up his whole career. Come on, that's not how it works. He's a human being. Don't just violate his face and he begin recording without even his consent. I'm like, no, that's not how that works, buddy. You have to ask. All right, hey, hey but why am I a big fan? Da, 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 da. Do you mind if, if if we take a selfie or whatever the case may be? It's not that hard. You don't just go go, go uh, uh, out of nowhere, jump on him, and then start recording. That's not how that works. People need their space. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And we have Lizzo Red Hot uh, Chili Peppers in Post Malone are, are set to headline the Bottle Rock Festival. Uh, on the Napa Valley Expo on May 26th or the 28th. And I welcome apparently 77 musical guests. Uh, thank you, Variety, for that. And we have SZA's SOS has tapped the billboard 200 for third, uh, for uh, the third week in a row. Thank you, of course, billboard for that. And we have uh, Kali Ochis has uh, plans to release two new albums this year. Coming from my heart. Uh, an English and a Spanish uh, album as simultaneously. We have Miley Cyrus has new music coming. Uh, her new album, Endless. Uh, Summer Vacation is coming soon. Uh, March 10th. As well as a new single that is coming January 13th, uh, Flowers. Uh, for this recording. Thank you, iHeart, for that. We have Gracie uh, Abrams has announced a debut album that allowed. Uh, let's see. She announced both projects Monday. Her debut album, Good uh, Riddance, uh, will be coming out, will be releasing February 24th. And her new single, Where Do We Go Now, will drop this Friday, January 13th. Thank you, Bobo, for that. We have The Weeknd that uh, has teased a new music video for Dawn FM one year anniversary. Uh, so it looks like... Uh, Dawn FM has arrived uh, one week in 2022, January 7th. Alright, we have Pushy T and DJ Jama has confirmed the new Gangsta Grills mixtape is on the way. Thank you, I heard for that. Paris Hilton has uh, it's apparently making a comeback to music. Uh, an updated version to her stars are blind. Uh, 
exclusively it's apparently exclusively now on Amazon Music. And we have the top five out of Billboard's Hot 100 chart. Uh, Taylor Swift's Anthony Heroes at number one. Sam Smith and Kim Petra's Unholy's at number two. Scissors Kill Bill's at number three. Wait a minute. Why is there only four here? Hold on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. I just refreshed it. Okay. So, I'm Good Blue uh, by David Guetta and Baby Rex has a number four. And Drake at 21 Savage to Rich Flex is at number five. Alrighty. Looks like that's all we have for you folks. If you guys enjoyed this thing's fruit in mail for 2023, here's how you can contact us. We want to know your feedback, your thoughts, and questions we have for us with something that's pretty mail. We have a couple ways you have a couple ways to do so. Uh, if you guys are listening over on if you folks over are listening over on Spotify, uh, at the end of every episode there will be a question uh, follow up that will that would ask for your feedback, your thoughts on that episode. Uh, you could send your feedback that way. You have via read email uh, by uh, Discord. Believing a voice don't over to England and defense slash them back play or even via an email to readyman at the mplay.com. Who knows your feedback whether it'll be played or even read live here on the show. So thank you guys so 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 much for making us support every day. If you wish to join our community server over on Discord, be sure to enter into the Discord and chat now. For the, or, uh, those of you listening on YouTube or later, uh, be sure to click, click on the Discord invite links on our, our about pages. Also, guys, we're trying to unlock subs and we need your help. Share the channel with your friends and family, anyone who believes in from the show. Follow us, lurk if you must, because every little helps us achieve the goal even closer. So leave us a review, just if you're on your favorite platform. Thank you guys so much for all of your tier 2 supporters and above. I'll see you on the exclusive post show. For everyone else, have a good one. And until next time, folks. <laughs> <laughs>